Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You, the name of my YouTube channel. Or if you're watching this on BitChute, the name of my BitChute channel is Comic Freak. We're going to be talking about how the Joker uses uh, social media hype and bad publicity for its own merit. And how you really should be using bad publicity to promote your movie. Joker movie is using negative reviews for marketing. And that's right. Unlike other movies, like, say, uh, Star Wars Episode Nine, where the director is going out and attacking the fan base, here we can see them actually using bad publicity to make their movie, well, look better and way, way more watchable and cooler. Unlike other movies who treat bad press as all publicity is good publicity, here they're taking bad publicity and turning it into gold. Where they're taking the negative review of one of the movie reviewers who's who has made negative comments about it and turn it into a it into a gold mine of great press. Warner Brothers is using negative critic reviews to promote the upcoming film Joker, directed by Todd Phillips and starring Joaquin Phoenix. The psychological thriller recently won the prestigious Golden Lion Award at the Venice International Film Festival. Despite mostly positive reviews, Joker has received polarizing reactions from North American critics. That's because they're either being paid off by Disney to give negative reviews, or they're SJW um, ideologues and pearl clutchers, and they're only getting on this train so they can pr say that they're holier than thou. Critical reviews aside, Joker has been controversial on many levels. For one, the film is directed by Todd Phillips, who's known for helming the Hangover trilogy, along with the 2003 comedy classic Old School. Naturally, not all fans of the DC character have been entirely pleased with the director picked for author Flick's origin story in 1981. In addition, Joker is a standalone film, which means that the narrative doesn't set up any sequels like the MCU or DCEU. After the Venice premiere, various North American critics expressed their displeasure on Twitter and in official reviews, unimpressed with Phoenix perceived overacting, along with how the stylized violence could transfer over into the real world. Joker currently holds a 78 Tomato Meter score on on Rotten Tomatoes. And yes, Rotten Tomatoes, those paragons of virtue, those guys who would never lie or be paid off to give a false review. And of course, that's exactly what they are, because the audience score is incredibly high for the movie The Joker, and there are really people who really want to go see it. But the critics' score is so low that it's kind of a joke. Once again, proving Rotten Tomatoes is a bad website. On Twitter, Next Best Picture, Will Mavity pointed out that Warner Brothers used an arresting quote from IndieWire's David Il Ilnick to promote Joker, an immaculately crafted piece of mass entertainment in the critical official review. However, the lead-in describes Joker as an incendiary, confused, and potentially toxic by the end. Ilnick muses about Phillips' intentions as a filmmaker, which precedes the quote snippet that Warner Brothers decided to use for marketing purposes. The review ends with Eric describing Joker as good enough to be dangerous and bad enough to demand better. Despite the mostly negative assessment and a C plus grading, Warner Brothers used the kindest person of the review. Check out Mavity's Joker tweet below. WB slapping a quote from David Ehrlich's negative review of Joker on the poster when there are a dozen positive ones to choose from instead is some god-level trolling on their part. An immaculately crafted piece of mass entertainment. David Ehrlich, IndieWire. This is hilarious. Way to go, WB. <laughs> Make that guy who gave you a bad review squirm. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes, uh, the king of trolling has been crowned. It's the WB. Okay, fine. The king of trolling would be Dave Chappelle. But hey, they're WB or giving him a run for his money, at least. And this shows how you can use bad publicity from a negative review from a reviewer to promote your movie. And like going out and attacking the fans of your franchise, like, well, the guys who are running Star Wars. There's good and there's bad. And what WB is doing is good. While it's not uncommon for Hollywood studios to pick and choose the best critic lines to promote an upcoming feature, it's telling that Warner Brothers misrepresented the words of a prominent American critic. Given the title of the film in question, however, 
Joker's marketing team may have decided to troll Elric and Anywire on Twitter. Various critics and moviegoers have been passionately debating Joker's place in 2019 film culture and society as a whole, which organically builds an even more hype ahead of the film. Wide release is also worth noting that Joker bears similarities to 1983's satire The King of Comedy, but that seems to be purely intentional as the latter film's star Robert De Niro has a surprise supporting role in The Joker as a talk show host and a homage to his famous wannabe stand-up com character, Rupert Pumpkin. I think it's telling that you say that you, they misrepresented a prominent critic's words when they're in the business of selling their film and, in my opinion, they're doing the right thing. Now, if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube is going around unsubscribing people, so make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you have not subscribed, please subscribe to me. Subscribe to me on YouTube at Read Comics, They're Bad For You. Then go over to BitChute and subscribe to my BitChute channel, Comic Freak. Hit that bell for notifications, hit that like button, and then leave some comments down below. And could you please share this video, share it on Twitter and share it on Facebook, or share it anywhere it would get the most views, because YouTube is also not promoting their creator's videos anymore, and it would really help me if you could please share this video. And keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. That is yet another plug for my comic book. Remember, I'm Chris Williams and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video or review.